what do you get when you take a very well-respected brand known for its classic sneakers and collaborate with a very well-known hype Japanese streetwear brand? A perfectly executed, underrated sneaker, in my opinion. One of the best low-key collabs you can get right now on the market. Let's talk about it. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Luigi back at it again with another sneaker review. And today we have a special treat because I've been looking forward to doing this video for quite a while now. It's been getting pushed back a couple weeks. Sneaker that I was looking forward to since I first saw that Bape was collaborating with Reebok again on another pair of Club C's. You guys know me, I love Club C's and I especially like Bape. I don't own too many Bape products, but I have in the past. But I do like Bape. I do think it's a dope streetwear brand. A lot of people say that like Bape is dead and it's corny now. I still love Bape regardless and the fact that they came out with another variation of the Reebok Club C, I had to go all in on it. If it is your first time checking out one of my videos and if you guys do enjoy the content so far, hit that subscribe button. We are so close to hitting 5,000 subscribers. And if you like the video, hit that like button. Also click that little bell, stay notified because we do drop videos every single week. If you guys want, you catch me on my Instagram at underscore Luigi. I do think it does deserve a lot more credit for a lot of the hate that it does get. Like. If you're hating on the sneaker saying that like oh it's too plain then you probably don't like club c's and that's fine i get it they're not for everybody this is my fourth pair of club c's i like them so much they're such a versatile essential simple sneaker they go with everything and i think vape actually executed this very well i don't know maybe i'm just biased because i like reebok a lot but i think they executed this collaboration very well there's really not much you can do with the club c because at the end of the day it is still a very like simple basic sneaker but it's still good at the same time. I know you guys wanted to see the sneaker, so let's dive right into it. First thing we're gonna talk about is the box. Out of all the years of me collecting sneakers, this is the coolest box I've ever freaking had. Like this box is so freaking dope, man. You have the bait print right here with the Reebok logo in right here. You have this purple camo. You have red camo right here. It says Reebok Classic, blue camo. You have the green. You have some more of that red and then you have pink on the bottom this is such a cool box man like even if you don't like this sneaker you still have to appreciate the attention to detail so freaking cool and the end result to the collaboration we have the reebok collaboration with babe on the club c now if you're looking at it from this side you're gonna say wow it's a pretty simple sneaker nothing too crazy but then you switch it to the other side and you have that babe still logo right here i'm just gonna say something right now before we get deeper into the review the quality on this club c and i can vouch because i've had three other pair of club c's is so much better like a regular pair of club c's i believe run you about 60 to 90 honestly depends they're always on sale but this was 160 the leather on this compared to a regular club c you just cannot compare it. these are just so good that i don't want to wear them just because i just don't want to beat them up that's like how nice they are let's dive into the sneaker first thing we're going to get into is the color of the sneaker now predominantly this whole entire sneaker is just all white it's an all white leather sneaker but you do have little hits of variations of colors you do have blue you do have red you do have white and you do have black but predominantly the most standout color to this sneaker is all white and if you're someone like me who loves all white sneakers because i believe it's like essential to anybody's closet they just kind of just go with everything what more do you want and then when you mix in a hype streetwear brand like Bape, you get honestly the perfect all white tennis shoe going into the side of the sneaker you have the left sneaker right here on the left side you do have that Bapesta logo right here, you know, the Bapesta logo that's very famous. On the other side of the sneaker, you do have that Reebok logo. But if you look on the right side, you do have that Reebok logo, but on the left side right here, you do have that Bapesta. So it is very cool that even though it is a simple sneaker, they did throw on their own like style and variation to it. It actually looks really nice. I think it's a really cool like detail and it definitely just doesn't look the same. It's definitely something very different. So it's a little confusing. I had to get used to it, especially when I put them on foot because I'm always looking at the side of it. Cause like, even when these are on feet, you look at the left side of your sneaker, you have the Bape stuff. Then you look on this side, you have the Reebok logo. Another cool variation that Bape did on this collaboration right here is the laces of the sneaker. Now, if you're looking at this from far, you can't really tell. This is something that you kind of have to like see it up close the left side of the sneaker right here on the shoelaces it does say a bathing ape obviously for for babe and on the right pair of the sneakers on the shoelaces it does say reebok classics babe. so i thought those are really cool like subtle like detail i i definitely think it's really dope and i wish more collaborations would come out like this instead of just being like dull and like simple babe continues with their own little touches and spins on this sneaker on the tongue right here it does say babe stuff you do have that classic Reebok logo but I like how they put the babe and it's just so freaking cool so if you look on the tongue right here on the tab 
does say Bape, but between the B and the P, you do have that Reebok logo, that subtle Reebok logo. And if we're being completely honest, and I'm not just saying this just because I'm on camera right now, I actually didn't notice that until now. So that's kind of bad on my part because I should know this. Here on the back tab right here, you do have some more of that Bapesta right here. It does say Bape, and you have Sta obviously stands for Bapesta. And even the leather on the back tab right here is very freaking smooth, man. Just very nice leather quality. Into the midsole of the sneaker. Now the midsole is the one thing that they didn't change anything about. Obviously, you do have like that blue trim going all around the sneaker, but other than that, just your standard regular Reebok Club C midsole, just all white going across. Nothing too crazy. Now, as far as outsoles goes, as you guys can tell right here, these are kind of dirty because I've worn these a, a couple times. I mean, can you really blame me? This is a really good sneaker and I was actually looking really forward to wearing these. I couldn't wait for the review. And as far as the outsole goes, just simple. Going back into the Reebok Club C collaboration with Bape. I'm gonna say this right now. This is one of the most best underrated low-key hype sneakers you can get right now on the market and I know I say that about almost probably every sneaker that I do review because most of the sneakers I do review I generally like that's why I buy them to show you guys but 100% I can say as coming from someone who loves the club scene I think it's such a great underrated model a really dope collab for two reasons number one it's a club scene obviously that's a no-brainer but number two and probably the most important to me is usually when a a brand collaborates with a sneaker brand they throw you know they come out with a sneaker and it's usually a hit or a miss you know sometimes it's very hype you know it honestly depends on the model as well but sometimes they release a sneaker and it doesn't kind of live up to the expectations this right here is the perfect execution especially just for this model even though it's very plain it's an all-white tennis sneaker they threw in their own little like twist to it and completely like changed how the sneaker looks like if you were to look at the sneaker from afar you would be like what is that? Because obviously you would see the Bapes, the logo right here, and you look on the other side, you see the Reebok logo right here. It's just a cool variation of the Reebok Club C, and I hope other brands take notice of what Reebok did with this collaboration and do this a lot more because this definitely feels like a collaboration. 160 bucks, and you're getting one of the best hype collaborative sneakers on the market right now. There's really not much left to say about it than just if you like Club C's, if you like Bape, and you want to try the sneaker out, what are you waiting for? You definitely should get it. But that's my take on the Reebok Club C Bape. 10 out of 10, I highly recommend it. Let me know what you guys think about the Reebok Club C Bape. Did you like the sneaker? Would you cop it? Are you a fan of Bape? Do you think Bape is dead? Whatever you are thinking, comment down below in the comment section so we can chop it up. If you like this video, hit that sub button, like this video, share this video with your friends, with your classmates, with your significant other, whatever it is, just share this video. Make sure you guys follow the cameraman on his Instagram at Leon underscore Kev. You can also catch me on my Instagram at underscore Luigi. I am very active on all my social media. I'm going to throw these on feet and show you guys how I style them. And that will be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I'm going to catch you guys next time. Peace.